are you doing? Um, you're doing fantastic. Let's see. This deck was calling me. That song just came to me that living my last life is golden. <laughs> when I looked at it, I was like, yep, that's the one. <laughs> that's the deck. <laughs> My decks sing to me. <laughs> That's how I know the vibe. I'm like, what are we doing? This one over here is straight up Biggie Smalls. My wizard tarot deck. <laughs> um. <laughs> the only card that came out was the devil in reverse. That's actually really good. Um, it could mean uh, letting go of a Capricorn. Or um, in the flip-flop, it could also mean um, that you're going through an ego death. Right? <laughs> um, that comes with a lot. Right? Um, so, let's talk about that. Like, kind of doing some shadow work. Kind of figuring shit out. Okay. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, half the deck. <laughs> Um, Alright, so Five of Swords came out, and that's kind of like conflict or feeling really guarded, feeling really defensive about something, or just in general. Let's talk about it. Let's dive deeper. Okay, what's going on? in reverse needing to get something off of your chest or maybe having done so um but knowing that it's going to end a cycle here with the five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold um could also mean uh financial kind of issues okay so yeah this is definite fucking shadow work um the ten of wands in reverse could also be like relieving yourself of a burden like, probably quitting a job. Um, it kind of feels like you quit a job. Um, kind of setting down all those wands. Kind of being, like, feeling left out in the cold. Conflict. Feeling really defensive and guarded. Not wanting to... Not wanting to fucking do the grind, right? Um, let's see. The hanged man, um, like obstacles or like things holding you up. Damn, son, you're doing the whole fucking thing, aren't you? But page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, dude, I feel like. This job felt like it was draining the life out of you, so I feel like you left a job. You're just like, fuck this. Letting go of that pentacle. Letting go of that resource. 
because it, it was just it, it made you feel like it was holding you up from actually like pursuing something or like being on your path you just felt fucking chaos in your mind about it you hated it right the devil in reverse could be your boss right um like this is just like like you felt like you fucking worked for the devil <laughs> like you were just like fuck it I cannot. Um, what is future energy for Aries? Let's talk about that. Because to every low, there's a high, right? There's always optimism and shit like this. So, <laughs> let's see. Ah. she's holding on to the pentacle and there's been a lot of pentacles so I feel like there's this energy of leaving a job um six of cups you might have kids um somebody might be pregnant or something um with the page of swords um yeah that's like coming in and cutting off something right with the eight of wands in reverse I really feel like this is a job and it just keeps coming back to this energy with the Four of Cups not wanting, you no, know, like, if they try to, like, keep you, they'll be like, oh, here, let me offer you this, the stay, and you're like, no, I'm fucking done, <laughs> what, um... Uh... in reverse okay wait so we have the king and queen of pentacles in reverse so it's like divine counterparts both kind of mirroring this energy of letting something go I don't know maybe it is a breakup it feels like a fucking job <laughs> maybe that's why if it feels like such a fucking job like because like clarify that i need to know more about that clarify this can of apples in it first because with the queen of cups it's like somebody's in love like, there's, like, this energy of that. Maybe they're in love with somebody who's also broke? I don't know. Let's, let's see. No, it's a definite breakup. Kind of cuts the nervous. Oh, dude. That didn't even feel like a breakup. That felt like leaving a job. That hits different. Because it feels like the only reason, the only thing that's really, uh, like, the biggest issue here is, like, money, right? Um, and, like, I feel like there's, like, a kid. Somebody here is still in love. Somebody doesn't want to work it out. And then, so, like, they try to offer something here. 
and they're like, no, like, trying to barter, trying to find a way to, like, get this person to stay, um, holy fuck, dude, that is crazy, because, like, it totally felt like a job. This is like the most intense karmic relationship I think I've ever seen. Like, I, I kind of want to cry about it. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Like, this should be over. This is the hanged man for you, right? That obstacle holding you up in life. Just all this conflict. Needing to get a burden off of their chest, like, or feeling like they need to... Somebody's getting left out in the cold here. Dude, this just feels like... Like, kind of that, like, what do I do after a breakup? But it's like... I feel like the concern is more, like, on how are you going to take care of yourself after this breakup. Because it's like, you don't want to be with them. You just don't... I don't know, Queen of Cups, you might, but it feels like there's a level of codependence here, like, but just, I mean, look at this, with the Page of uh, Pentacles in reverse, like, trying, like, taking back an offer here because, like, somebody wasn't reciprocating, like, somebody didn't, wasn't open to it. Maybe a truth was revealed. Oh, yeah, that was already there. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Tower, dude. That's, like, everything falling apart. It's, like, feeling like everything fell apart here. Some truth was revealed. Holy fuck. So, what happens after the tower? Seven of Wands, having to choose a new direction. Having to put in some work. Like, this is like... Like, I see you, like, having to really put in some fucking work. What direction are they most likely to take? Because I see you have options. So let's see. Dude, I'm surprised the judgment card hasn't come out. But... Bro, okay, so I don't know who's who, but with the three of wands in reverse, it looks like somebody was, like, being unfaithful, and with this ten of wands in reverse, like, that's, you know, holding on to something and then letting that go, it could have been a secret, you know, like, 
Like maybe something came to light here with this three of wands. And then with the knight of swords, somebody gets cut off, right? And three of swords in reverse, it's like the three of swords in the upright is all about heartbreak. But I feel like it's not even so much the heartbreak right now. With the princess of wands, it's like this energy of needing to know where to go from here. You know, it's like... So we have the Seven of Wands again. So this is saying a choice that you make. Okay, a choice that you make. Ten of Wands in reverse. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse again. Is to let something off of your chest, right? With the devil. So, it's kind of like an admission of, like, debauchery or, like, um, stepped outside of the relationship or somebody stepped outside of the relationship here. Um, with the King of Swords in reverse, though, it's like somebody doesn't want um, to cut this situation off. They're still bartering with this page of pentacles in reverse and the what was the other guy in the four of cups <clears throat> still trying to not end everything and you had the devil in reverse over here so it's kind of like maybe this is somebody who let you go or somebody who you see as imbalanced or whatever i don't know there's some situation here it could also be a capricorn there's a lot of earth energy too with all these pentacles, so um so what happens? <laughs> okay, like it's like choosing to go back. Wanting to put in the work. Because you don't want things to fall apart. Eight of Cups in reverse. There's like no... No trust. But not wanting to walk away from a situation. And with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like not wanting to have... To be left out in the cold. With the Chariot in reverse not moving. So, you go through all this, there's like a scare that there might be a breakup and everything might fall apart, but eventually somebody's like, I'll put in the work, da 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 da, we can make this work, la da 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 da, and we're back at point A. <laughs> Alright, got it, so we just did a circle, very nice. Um, okay. So, what are some advice or just messages that Aries needs to hear? Four of Swords in reverse. You need to take a break from all this conflict. Because with the, the Five of Wands and the Four of Swords in reverse, the Four of Swords in the upright means Lord of Rest from Strife, right? But in reverse, that means that you're not getting rest from strife. With the Five of Wands, it says Lord of Strife. Right? So it's like there's strife here. Like, it's just... Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I am so, like, baffled by this. This is like...
We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. Um, and just not so great fortune like the Fallen. Um, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, it's like both the King and Queen of Swords are in reverse. So it's like not wanting to give up on the connection, not wanting to be done. Um, Ace of Wands, like opening up communication and death, probably trying to like put an end to, um, to this cycle or whatever phase of this cycle you're in, like kind of like trying to get through the, the hard shit. Um, let's clarify that. What's coming to an end with the death card? The Empress who kept secrets. The Empress was Aries energy. With the moon in reverse. It's like ending a cycle. But then it says, I feel like there's just like this ebb and flow of this. Break up, get back together, break up, get back together. It's like you guys are just in a really fucking intense karmic thing. Um, and honestly, I don't even know, like, it. I feel like, or maybe it was the Empress who discovered a secret, you know, that just kind of was like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> you know, so like, you know, we're ending it back with this. So maybe somebody was hiding some shit from you, you know, and then you guys go through this back and forth. Like, there's just so much strife and conflict and towers <laughs> and Wheel of Fortune's in reverse, you know, and it's like, bro, we got to get a handle on this. <laughs> My best advice to you outside of the cards is to let this shit go. <laughs> like let it go you know but I know you're gonna do what you're gonna do because you're an Aries so just take it as it resonates and you know dude if you ever need like a personal reading you want like some insight on your situation or whatever like hit me up I got you um I can send you links to get you all started on all that um but basically um yeah, dude, I feel like this is just a really fucking intense story, um, and I hope that you find a way to get balance in this, um, and kind of restore yourself, you know, but, um, so, namaste, I love you all, and, um, I will catch you on the next one.